Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a little something. I'm going to read a chapter. And I want you to hear a testimony from someone I know very well. Now listen to this and let it encourage you. Number one, you don't have to know it all to give your heart to the Lord. Number two, you don't have to know everybody to help you walk you through. But God will strategically position you ahead of time. And he will help you through with the help of someone who is true in the faith. Okay, listen to this. Hopefully this will encourage a lot of you who are praying for your loved ones to get saved. And you say, when, Lord, when? Yeah, but anyway, I just want you to hear this. And I hope it really, really uh, strengthens your faith in God's ability. Now I want you to check this out. All right. This is from a chapter entitled, If I Can Ever Find It. Okay, there it is. Desperation on a Quest. But I'm not going to read the whole chapter. What I want you to hear is the part, this is the most comical part. Okay. <laughs> Now, this will be from, let's see. Yes, no, maybe second. Okay, here we go. I finally decided to give this new life a try. Yes, there was a lot of doubt on my part. Still, I decided to brace myself and pray that prayer. Yeah, you won't believe the prayer I prayed. It amazes me that God even answered it. But to my surprise, he did. Now, don't you laugh. The prayer. I don't want to be emotional. I want to make this decision without tears and mean it. I don't want anybody coming over here trying to help me pray or feed me some words. I'd like this to be between you and me. Okay. Now, before I go through with this, I need to clear some things up. You know I'm not convinced about Jesus Christ being real, right? Plus, you know I'm not totally convinced that there really is a God at all. Mustard seed faith. I mean, after all, the Bible could be a great big fairy tale, for all I know. However, I'm willing to find out. I don't even believe in heaven or hell, for that matter. What I mean by that is, this is not a way of escape for me. I simply, I am simply tired of just existing and living an empty, dead, meaningless life. That's all. If you're willing to give me a try after what I just said and willing to accept me on those terms, then I'm willing to give you a try too. Okay. There. Now here it goes. I'm going to say the prayer now. Ready? Pause. Thinking. Pause. Lord, forgive me for my sins in Jesus' name. Said in three seconds flat. Okay, I did it. I said it. Now what do I do? How do I do this? I can't do this alone. I need help. Everyone I know and hang with does what I'm trying not to. I am so messed up. I won't last a day without someone's, without somebody's help. But who's? After I finished running my mouth, guess who walked up and knelt down beside me at the altar? Yep, you guessed it. That annoying neighbor of mine. She asked me what I'd like God to do for me. Well, still guarded, I quickly informed her I already just gave my heart to the Lord. I looked at her and thought, don't you dare gloat. I knew that she'd be tickled pink about what I'd just done. She gave me a beaming smile and prayed for me. I didn't even remember what she said in that prayer. I just wanted her to hurry up and finish so I could go back to my seat without tearing up. We both got up and returned to our seats. <laughs> and I looked at her for a number of seconds. Should I ask her or not? 
You see, I used to avoid her like the plague, so I wouldn't have to hear all that Jesus talk from her. I really didn't have much respect for, for any of the churchy acting, religious talking people. Then I reluctantly, I reluctantly swallowed my old pride, my old silly pride, and asked her, hear me. This was very difficult for me to say. Would you help me? Suddenly, without warning, my emotions broke within me like a balloon filled with water, bursting under pressure. I did exactly what I did not want to do. Cry. Yes, I did. Boo, boo. I cried like a big old baby. So much for not emoting, huh? I admit it. They were good tears, real good. She was so happy, I asked. I was too. Believe it or not, she did not gloat. She simply hugged me and said, Pat, I'll be glad to help you. Boy, did she. Boy, did she. She helped me, shared insights with me, and taught me so much. The funny thing was, she would often come over to share some of her lunches with me. I enjoyed listening to her humorous conversations. I realized that she was honest, open, and freely transparent with her experiences and her struggles. We grew very close. The most delightful thing about her visits for me was the comforting love flowing from her. Her love seemed to stream out of her continuously like a fragrance from a rose that fills the air with its soothing aroma. That is how her endearing love was to me.